<laughs> After four days of blistering hot sunshine, uh, we've reverted to the high wind. And uh, yesterday was a was a bit of a blowy day. It was uh, it was more than a breeze, but it certainly wasn't this. So it got, everything got dried out by the sun, now it's getting dried out by the wind. In the veg garden yesterday it had cooled down enough to get on with a bit of work. So I tackled the last corner of the uh, raised beds uh, in the annual vegetable garden and, uh, and then after that there's the last section uh, which won't be the raised beds, it'll be the, uh, the pumpkin patch. And, uh, and that's still to do and all the pumpkins are waiting to go in it but here's what I did yesterday so up past the beans and past my first brassica tunnel which is doing very well there we go on this side I have laid down weed suppressing membrane over all that grass that was there and that was uh, almost waist high. <laughs> so the weed suppressing membrane's gone down. The uh, the first the first helping, <laughs> the first serving, and the first layer of uh, wood chippings have gone down to make the pathways. And so that's given me three uh, three sections of raised bed so far now of course obviously they're not raised they're the same level as the ground at the moment and for this year that's the way they're going to be so I'm going to uh, cut a little hole in each place that I want to plant and plant through the uh, weed suppressing membrane and underneath that obviously is just the grass weeds so uh, grass and weeds so what I'll need to do is um, pop in a small amount of topsoil or compost or both uh, into each planting pocket but then I can get the plants in. The weed suppressing membrane will uh, kill off the weeds for this year and, uh, and next year we can we can start building soil levels. I can cut away that plastic and we can start building soil levels. Now over here this pathway should go all the way up to join the bit at the top there but as I was as I was moving this turf yesterday I um, I came across a little vole or a mouse and I did manage to video it a tiny bit um, let me tell you the story uh, a few weeks ago mr. J and I dug out this section here we lifted the turf and uh, and we turned it over we flipped it over to here and then we put some straw in the bottom of of this hole with the intention of putting all the turf back but we got so exhausted and it was getting late and we needed to put the animals to bed so we left it and uh, and the piles of turf were here and they've dried out a bit well yesterday I was picking them up from here and putting them back over to there and when I picked that last one up there there was a family of uh, it was either a field mouse or a vole um, it was a mother and her babies and, uh, and I took a tiny bit of footage but my main concern was to get them covered over again and keep them warm well did that and then when Mr J came home I showed him and I lifted up that turf to show him and they've gone so she's moved her babies to somewhere in this grassy bit here would be my guess I'm hoping she hasn't moved them under the plastic and that they haven't now been covered over with plastic and topsoil and um, wood chippings but anyway so I'm leaving this 
because I have absolutely no intention of killing off a little family of wildlife if I can help it. So I'm going to leave this for a few days and hopefully she will, hopefully she will have moved them, I don't know, over there <laughs> where they can run the gauntlet with the ducks. It's a, it's a difficult one. Uh, but I will leave it because right now I don't need to immediately plant in, in that section. But what I will do over the next few days is plant the end one there and this one here and probably that end. Um, and I'm also going to leave that raised bed for as long as I can just in case she's moved over to there and she's under these uh, clods of turf here. I just, I think it's better to to give her a bit of time to let those little mice grow. Sounds like the ducks are enjoying themselves in the background there. Uh, it's uh, it's about quarter past eight in the morning and it's time for me to go and make some breakfast for Mr J before he heads off to work today and, uh, and he'll be back at lunchtime and, uh, and we can get on with some planting. <laughs>